So my last college game, I wore, obviously I had another cleat, but this is one of them. Played in Pasadena against Georgia, my last college game ever. Did you win that game? We didn't win that game. You didn't have to bring that up, but it's okay, because I can use this as throwing at you now. <laughs> What's up everybody, Baker Mayfield here, and these are my essentials. From the time I was little, I've always had some sort of a ball in my hand, and then, you know, as I stopped playing baseball and football became my passion, more and more I had a football in my hand more often than not. Do you remember your first ball? I remember my first significant ball. Um, it was uh, it was a Michael Vick ball that like, it literally opened up and they had a playbook inside of it, and I thought that was the coolest thing ever. It was like silver and red, and it had like the V7 on it. I just remember little kids in the backyard, like, oh, what are we gonna run? Why don't we run the button hook? And like, nobody really runs a button hook in real football, but on, on like a ball like that, uh, it's pretty cool to see. This is pretty much what I stick with now. <laughs> we gotta get you that Michael Vick ball. <laughs> yeah, gotta get a throwback, yeah. yeah. I think I got my water. Probably should be one of my essentials. It's a good thing it is. Got a little customized Yeti. Got the Mayfield in the number six right here and then the Cleveland Dog Pound, the logo on it. You just gotta have it with me at all times, especially on a hot summer day. I prefer the ice water. It's a bad habit, but crunching the ice at the end of the cup, I always do. I'm trying to finish one of those before I get to work and then throughout the day, two more probably. You might think you're drinking enough water, but you're not. You gotta keep doing it. It's pretty plain and simple. <laughs> you probably won't ever catch me anywhere without a hat on. I don't know, I just always have a hat on. Even if I get a new haircut, I kind of have a, like a big head, so it's got to fit just right. Like it can't sit up too high on my head. Sometimes if you have kind of a plain outfit, then you can go a little bit more wild. Otherwise, it's pretty much plain or with one simple logo. Completely different from the hat, the headbands. I like to go a little bit more out there. I started wearing headbands, I think in middle school during like football in the summer, uh, just to keep the sweat out of my eyes. It just kind of became part of, you know, what I was all about. I always had a headband on. I used to have long hair and it was curly, so it was like kind of controlling it. Always had one on in any sports scenario and um, now it's now it's a part of my logo. Another one of my essentials, just because this, this is my working shoe. Uh, you can kind of tell they were beat up a little bit. If I'm not comfortable in my shoe that I'm playing in, then I just don't feel right. And there's something about like when you finally tie your shoes up right before you run on the field for the game, it just kind of gets you into your zone. Cause it's like the last thing you really put on before you go play. The wristbands right here. So this one's from one of my buddies, it's a golf coach. It says win the day and do right right here. Then this one right here, I've had on since I left college when they first made the Live Strong bands and it started becoming kind of the style. It's from Oklahoma, it says we too deep and then OU DNA. And then the last one is Humble Over Hype. Would you make one of your own and what would it say? Probably, I probably just believe in yourself. Got it right there, but I don't know, something like that, just to be yourself. This chain, it is new, but I upgraded my necklace. So I'm number six in football, for those of you that don't know, um, on the back of it, but Emily's my fiance. She says, proud of you, love him. So I got my number, but got something on the back, you know, that I keep to myself. Has the number six always been important to you? Um, it actually hasn't. So when I first got to Texas Tech, they gave me that number. And then I, when I transferred to Oklahoma, they thought that was my number, so they just gave it to me. And I don't know, I just kind of rocked it ever since, and no complaints here. I have kind of made it into my own. Being from Texas, had to have sunglasses, and then being out here in California now, the training, whether you're outside, I just always like to have sunglasses. I mean, you can say they're your hater shades or anything, it's whatever. I like the way they look, comfortable, Kind of stylish, I don't need much. I'm not really, you know, over the top flashy, but. You wear a lot of black and stuff. Yeah, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> I go through at least two or three a week. And that's not because I use it that often, it's because I lose them. And then I'll find them in the wash later in the week. I had a bulk order come in, and I swear to you I had probably a hundred of them. It's about a little under halfway now. I'm happy I have a lot of chapstick because I lose too many of them. I have these on game days when I'm warming up and stuff just because I stay in. I just really love music. It doesn't have to be one particular kind. I just feel like whatever mood I'm in, that's the kind of music I'm listening to. If I'm laid back, it's kind of chill music or country. Uh, game days is mostly upbeat or rap, but music, you know, 
it can portray somebody's lifestyle or their attitude and their mood. Any particular artist you're listening to right now? Making the wedding playlist, so I have a, a lot of people on there. <laughs> Last one I got right here for you. Old trusty faithful backpack. Got it off Amazon, not gonna lie, but it's one of the military grade things. Got lots of secret pockets. You have no telling what I'm carrying around in here. So this is my actual logo, but it has the headband over the BM. So Baker Mayfield with the headband. Just like all my clothing and my hats, pretty much it's black. Everything's, you know, murdered out. Are you selling those patches anywhere? Um, I think so. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> Stickers, patches, flags, headbands. Get yours. See, just goes right on there. I got a, I got a state of Texas one too, just where I'm from. <clears throat> got a couple things, but never leave home without it.